you know, there's something pretty amazing about what we're learning today. Do you know what it is? Any guesses? It is always amazing when we are talking about our Savior Jesus Christ. In the Doctrine and Covenants, section 93, there are a million things. Okay, Sister Olson, not a million, but there are so many things that tell us all about our Savior Jesus Christ. And every time I talk about our Savior Jesus Christ, my heart feels good. And I feel how much he loves me. And so I hope that you can feel how much he loves you because of all of the things he did for you. Yeah, that's right. You. You are important and you matter. And Jesus Christ loves you. So, let's watch this video. All about Jesus Christ and things that he did for you. Ready? Open up your eyes. Open up your ears. Let's watch. Chapter 33, A Revelation About Jesus Christ, May 1833. In one of the revelations to the prophet Joseph Smith, Jesus told about himself. He said people can see his face and know him if they will obey his commandments and pray. Jesus said he is the light of the world. He shows us the right way to live. Jesus lived with Heavenly Father before the earth was made. Jesus created the earth and all things that are on it. Jesus was not like his Father in heaven at first. He did not know all the things his Father knew, and he did not have all the power and glory his Father had. Jesus tried hard to be like his Father. Gradually, he received the power and glory of his Father. Jesus said we should obey God's commandments. As we obey, we can come to know all things. We can also become like God and receive the fullness of His blessings. Jesus said Satan does not want people to know the truth and become like God. Jesus told Joseph to teach his family the truth. Jesus also told Frederick G. Williams and Sidney Rigdon to teach their families the truth and to obey the commandments. Then Satan could not have power over them. Now, what did you see in that video? Or what did you hear? So many things, right? Jesus Christ did wonderful things for us. He was a creator. He created this earth. He was with Heavenly Father and is still with Heavenly Father. What else is he? He is the light of the world. It's incredible. He loves you so much that he created all of this with Heavenly Father so that you and I and everyone could have a chance to be like Heavenly Father, to get a body and to grow and to learn. It's so incredible. It makes me smile. I can't help but smile. <laughs> So, let's read a little more in the Doctrine and Covenants about all of the things that Jesus Christ did. Do you have your scriptures today? You are so awesome. Let's read it. Doctrine and Covenants, section 93, verses 5, 9 through 10, and 17. I was in the world and received of my Father, and the works of Him were plainly manifest. The light and the Redeemer of the world, the Spirit of Truth, who came into the world, because the world was made by Him, and in Him was the life of men and the light of men. The worlds were made by Him, men were made by Him, all things were made by Him and through Him and of Him, and He received all power, both in heaven and on earth, and the glory of the Father was with Him for he dwelt with him. So the video we watched and the scriptures we just read told us all about Jesus Christ. Now, can I tell you something just as amazing? 
Are you ready? Get your ear really big. You lived in heaven with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ before you came to earth. What? Isn't that amazing? Oh, it makes me feel so cool that I lived in heaven once. That I lived in heaven before. You lived in heaven before. We were with Heavenly Father. And when all of these things were created, and we got to see and hear Jesus Christ. We got to choose to follow him. It is so true. That is why you are sitting here right now. Oh, amazing. So amazing. Oh, it just makes me happy. So when I get happy, I like to sing la 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 la. Yes! Let's sing. Doctrine and Covenants section 93, verses 23, 29, and 38. You were also in the beginning with the Father, that which is spirit, even the spirit of truth. Man was also in the beginning with God. Intelligence, or light of truth, was not created or made, neither indeed can be. Every spirit of man was innocent in the beginning, and God, having redeemed man from the fall, men became again, in their infant state, innocent before God. That is one of my most favorite songs because it reminds me that I got to be there. I got to see it all. Even if I don't remember because I'm on this earth now learning and growing, I was there. Just like you were there. And we got to see it all. You got to see it all. So amazing. So incredible. And so much every amazing word you can think of. <laughs> I know that Jesus Christ lives. I know that he loves you. And I know he created this world for you. I know that he can be your light. And I know that he can bring you happiness and peace and joy and feel loved even in hard times. I know Heavenly Father loves you and I know that he is always with you. These things are true and they are amazing. Sister Olson, you say that all the time, <laughs> but it's true. It's true. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.